This is a finished panel prepared to be scanned. Now the question is why do I use pens in the age of digital computers and um, I could easily use this pen it's a Wacom digital pen. Well to truth to be told I do use this pen quite a lot to retouche, to add and sometimes I do illustrations completely digitally. Sometimes my illustrations don't even see, not even a, 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 a tiny bit of paper. But when it comes to comics, uh, your drawing has to be versatile. And you use a lot of movement and you, you do turn your paper around quite a lot. So for me it will be quite impractical to turn my table around and you lose orientation when it happens. And the other thing is, it's, I think, a part of a style. You get used to a certain media and I cannot really imagine now doing comics at least to some degree using pens. And why is Faber-Castell so good for me? Why do I really, really like this, uh, this pen? It's because it is very durable, but at the same time it keeps elasticity. The tip suits me perfectly. I can really push it hard, but it will endure it. And when you draw comics, you use these circular movements. When you draw little details, like for, for example this round head, or where you go and you draw the outline around these characters. So you can see it's a lot, a lot of details not just those black flat surfaces, it's a lot of details that the pen has to endure it and it has to keep the, the, the fine tipped point at the same time it has to be durable and I've tested really a bunch, a bunch of uh, companies that produce uh, pens and uh, suddenly I realized it's it's Faber Castell. It's it's the only pen I can I can really use. I, it, it doesn't mean that the, the 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 other the competition is not good. They are good. They are good. I, I mean I can survive with uh, with uh, other pens uh, uh, if if necessary. But uh, really heavy duty, lots of drawing. You know this is the pen that will leave you to think to create, and you won't have to bother. Uh, with uh, technicalities. Your hand is free because the pen can take it. Now, of course, when, when the, the, the picture is scanned, what happens later? Okay, it gets a bit retouched and, and details get done a bit, but eventually you add colors in layers and at the end, of course, balloons and at the, at the very end, of course, the lettering. So, for example, these two heads are details of this drawing here. And eventually this comics will get printed in newspaper, in the chair newspaper, which uh, I'm happy to say became uh, uh, the recently the most read newspaper in Slovenia. Not just because the other newspapers are doing so bad, but I because I believe it is really a good, good newspaper and hopefully my, my comics do add a little bit, a tiny little bit to, to the success of the whole newspaper. But see, this is how the printed comics look like. So you need this very clear, very crisp black outline for the comics to, to, to work, to function in newspaper because newspaper is printed on a paper that is quite different from the magazines, from the paper that magazines use. Finally, um, one of the things I'm really proud of is um, not just a souvenir, because I was given this by a guy who is also, or was also a comics draftsman, but um, this is not just a souvenir, this is actually a tool that I can still use and this pen is, I believe, more than 30 years old maybe 40 because it looks like it's from 70s at least and uh, maybe even 60s so it could be even 50 years old and it's 0 0.5 uh, 
Faber-Castell technical pencil. It works like hell still after this decades and I, I really enjoy using it. So uh, that's, that's mainly why, why I, I like the company because of the, the very good pens and pulses that, that uh, they produce. That's it.